Hello there guys. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is called an auto response message. Now, once again, remember we are dealing with business email. Okay. Now an auto response message is mainly a way of sending a, res a response to someone who sent you an email. Okay. But it's automatic. It's automated. Okay. And in most businesses, what they say is this. If you send us an email, we promise you that we will respond to you in 72 hours or in 48 hours or in one day. Now, what we could do is in a business or in a formal environment, we can set up an auto response message to respond when people send us emails to acknowledge to them that, you know what, we've got your email. We are not going to reply to you immediately, but we promise you that we will reply to you at some point. It's also used when someone is away from the office or away from their desk. So let's say I work for a company and I have traveled to, um, to Somalia on business. Okay, so I'm not available. I can set up an auto response message on my email account so that when you send me a message, you get a professional formal message back telling you, I am really sorry I cannot respond to your email because I have traveled to Somalia on business. Okay, and that is pretty much what an automated response message is used for. It's, it's, it's very important in a business or formal environment because it helps keep things professional. You know, nobody's going to think, you know what, I sent them an email and they haven't responded or I sent him an email and he hasn't responded back, he's being rude or anything like that. Now to add an auto response message, simply move your mouse cursor and click on the cog message. Okay, so as you can see there, right there, click it. Click on set automatic replies. Let's just wait for the window to open. And we're going to get, um, what we're going to do is we're going to get a response here, an area to enter our message. So it says there's two boxes here, two tick radio boxes. That's what they call radio buttons. One says don't send automatic replies. One says send automatic replies. I'm going to tick the box that says send automatic replies. And there's another option here, send replies only during this time period. So you can set it so it's sent. Maybe, as you can see here, it's sent after 5 because most people are in the office from 8 till 5. So after 5, you can send this message. But we're not going to do that. Just leave it on send automatic replies. And I'm going to click in the box underneath. And once again, I'm going to make sure it's formal. I'm not going to start with the salutation because I don't know who is sending the email. So what I'll put in is this. It could be, thank you for your email. Sorry about that. I'm typing in capital letters. I'm going to write, thank you for your email. I am sorry I cannot respond because... I am in Somalia, okay? Kind regards, Swag Johnson, okay? So what I've done there is I've composed a professional formal response. So if anyone emails me whilst I'm in Somalia, they're going to get this email, okay? And then I'm going to click, I'm going to scroll down to see if you have any options. Okay, and just click save. Let's just wait for it to save. And then it's saved. Okay, so that's it. And we've ticked the box that says send automatic replies. So anyone that sends us an email is going to get this response. Okay, so if I go back into Outlook. Okay, so if you go back to your email, click on new mail and send yourself an email. Okay, so B U T L J one one two dot two oh three at L G F L mail. Okay, and the subject is test and test. Right, send, and if you send yourself an email, as you can see here, can you see the response? Okay, this is the email we sent, and this is the response we got. Okay, I'll double click it just so it can open. And this is the response that we got. You see, it says automatic reply, and it says, thank you for your email. I'm sorry I cannot respond because I'm in Somalia. So it has worked. Okay, now I want you to go onto your email account. I want you to try it, and I also want you to answer the questions at the bottom of the screen. 
Can you please do that for me? Thank you very much.